In a recent t testimony, Morgan Smith, a previous volunteer at SOS, explained her experience as an emotional, spiritual, physical, and mental challenge that will forever have effects on my spiritual journey and, in turn, my life and its decisions. Have any of you ever been a part of something that's a challenge similar that I just explained and has an amazing reward at the end? Well, service over self is exactly that. I have personally been involved with SOS and got to volunteer, and I've also done research to help you better understand my speech today. In my speech, I'm going to tell you what SOS is, their history, and share my personal experience with you. So first, let's take a look at what SOS is. Uh, Christian Service Charities website explains that SOS is a nonprofit Christian organization located in Memphis, Tennessee, where volunteers can come and stay a week and participate in worship services, hear guest speakers, and perform acts of service. They perform acts of service by helping below poverty homeowners repair their houses. They um, make them warmer, safer, and drier. They also they fix damages inside and outside of the house, and then they provide necessities that the homeowner needs that we use every day. And while doing all of this, they provide the Word of God. So now that you know what SOS is, I'm going to share with you how they began. SOS explains on their recent website that they began in the summer of 1986 by two men, Tom Moreno and Jim Lofton. They uh, felt they were being called to mission work, so they got their two youth groups together and decided to repair two homes over the summer. During, at the end of the summer, they had went so well, and they noticed that it didn't only benefit the homeowner that got the house, but it impacted their youth group and them themselves. So they got together and decided they want to make this a routine thing that gets to happen all year round. So they decided to start a volunteer camp, and it was SOS. Uh, SOS Memphis explains on their recent website that over the years there has been over 20,000 volunteers and more than 700 homes have been repaired. Now that you know the history, I would like to share with you my personal experience. In the summer of 2011, I got to go with my youth group and we got to volunteer in Memphis at SOS. Uh, we got to work with the homeowner, Mr. Ray, his wife, who went by Star, and then their son, Corey. Throughout the week, we fixed their house and provided them with things that they needed. Uh, with their house, we fixed their roof, their ceilings, uh, they had damaged sheetrock, we redid their bathroom, just things like that. And then for things that we provided them, they, we gave them towels because their towels were so thin that they couldn't even absorb water. They didn't have blankets to sleep in that night. They didn't have an air conditioning because in Memphis is so hot. And then they cooked everything that they had in the microwave because they didn't have any pots or pans, so we gave them those as well. And then throughout the week, I got closer to God, my youth group, and with um, it just made me really thankful because you see everything that they don't have, and then you know everything you have at home, and it's so much more than we even need. Uh, the devotional groups that we got to participate in, it was really neat to see Mr. Ray because he had so little, but his love for God was so much, and we take for granted so much, and so it just really impacted me. And then this is Mr. Ray and his wife, Star, and this is their house after we ended up redoing the outside of it for them, and they were most excited that they got their house number to be displayed because they never got that, and then that's just me doing work, and then that's my youth group at SOS before we left at the end of the week. So, as we come to an end, I hope that you guys have taken a few things away from my speech. Uh, today I talked to you about what SOS is, how they began, and then my personal experience. And after listening to my speech, I hope that you have noticed that even just dedicating a week of your time can impact somebody's forever. Thank you.